So we just completed testing on Astrobotics Lunar Lander, the Peregrine uh, Mission 1. We completed uh, vibration testing, acoustic noise testing, and mass properties testing, as well as EMI testing. So this program is a medium-sized program from Dayton T. Brown. Uh, we work very closely with Astrobotic from the very onset of the program, developing the test plans, working with them what the requirements are, and also ensuring that the tests can get done properly. We procured all the accelerometers, all thermocouples, and all the other instrumentation that we need for the testing. Because this was flight hardware, it was very delicate, and we needed a clean room during testing at various points. We provided a class 100,000 clean room at the beginning of the test, as well as between each test for operational checkouts and post-test to get ready for shipment. The first test we did was mass properties testing, which finds out the center of gravity. After mass properties, we completed vibration testing, which consists of testing the lander in all three axes, the two horizontal as well as the vertical axis. We do a sign test in each axis, which simulates the takeoff and makes sure the workmanship is up to par and that there's no loose parts on the lander during flight. Following vibration, we did acoustic noise, which simulates the takeoff of the rocket. We surrounded the test item with 28 foot diameter ring of speakers, 10 foot tall, and bombarded the test item with the acoustic energy. We also did EMI testing on the lander. EMI tests on a lander consisted of radiated susceptibility and radiated emissions. Radiated emissions is reading the radio waves off of the lander and it determining if it's safe for use. Radiated susceptibility is bombarding the test item with radio waves to make sure that it's working properly. Because this lander's flight hardware is carrying both NASA and private payloads, this lander as well as all the payloads will be going to the moon. DTB looks forward to continuing to serve the space industry, whether it's technical pubs, trailers for transportation of sensitive flight hardware, or engineering and testing services.